Can I ask you a question? Sure. I'm Chris for the Reading Coalition for the Homeless. How are you? Good. I saw your news, uh, newspaper article, that was, that was Emily. and I just wanted to say, uh, as far as the Reading Coalition for the Homeless is concerned, a great big thank you, and you'll be on the blog. And uh, I, can I ask you what, what really motivated you to do this? Um, well, we always do things for the community, but we haven't done anything for the homeless yet. Sure. <laughs> now, do you know of homeless camps that are in this area? If you walk all the way down, there's a bunch of trails that go up. Uh huh. And then my dad has some homeless people by his work. Oh. And you just felt in your heart to reach out and touch folks. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Okay. You bet. Thank you. Have a nice day. You do the same. Good to see you, Chris. You too. God bless in Jesus' name. Oh, God bless you. You take care. It's wonderful that the, the work that you do. Community service, and she did mention this young lady, and um, I am here to present her, um, Emily Belomo, and her proud father, and to um, introduce her and, and bring her up for a certificate of appreciation. So come on up, Emily, and she's going to tell you what she's been doing. This is your father. So this is for Emily. Emily is part of our Living MLK Neighborhood Watch Group that decided that they wanted to do something on Dr. King Day of service. So we like, like uh, she mentioned, we're doing a wall up on West Street, we're doing a cleanup. Also, Emily said, let's do something for the homeless population. So we thought about it, and she went out. You might have seen a picture of her in the paper. She, she um, just jumped right on it. And so this is for Emily. You did it. Served your community, your neighborhood, by sharing and caring for the homeless. So uh, this is Emily. This is our father, Matt. Uh, I'm going to tell you what she's been doing. Um, well, as Eddie said, we were uh, at a meeting and we were telling, we were thinking about what we should do for the community. And uh, I guess we just brought up homeless people. And that's when we started collecting donations, um, and we just put it all together. And today, if there's um, anybody else that needs anything, we're giving them away down the street, at um, right across from Linden Apartments. And uh, I couldn't have done any of this without Eddie and my dad. <laughs> So I said, I'm going to find out what the really need is. And so at this time, we found out that doing uh, laundry for the homeless population is a big issue. So today, after this program, we have a young man named Anthony that is going to take a certain amount of homeless people up to the laundromat up on Lake Boulevard, and they're going to get their laundry done. Once again, please. Now, I need you to 